So gold was discovered on this very day way back in 1896. It's not the gold fields of the Klondike, but this gold panner at Skookum Jim's house in Carcross, Yukon is helping tourists and locals learn more about how First Nations played a role in Yukon's gold rush history. Skookum Jim, is, um, his real name is Keish. That's his cultural name, and he was a Tagish Nation person. Skookum Jim was one of the co-discoverers of Yukon gold that kicked off the 1898 Klondike gold rush. He made thousands of dollars from his claim in Dawson City, but Skookum Jim did not forget about his local kin. He's a leadership um, person because he looked after his clan, and even ahead of him, um, he was always thinking about people, his descendants and so forth, and that's how now we have um, the Skookum Jim Friendship Centre in Whitehorse because because of his legacy, his, the will, he willed a lot of funds ahead for his descendants. The Carcross Tagish First Nation along with Parks Canada have transformed his house into a visitor information centre, exhibiting the culture of the Clinket and Tagish people along with historical photos of Skookum Jim and the Chilkoot Trail where he was known to be one of the strongest packers to hire. Any thoughts on Skookum Jim? <laughs> um, great moustache, great moustache. And it's very cool to be in his house, like in the exact same spot like you were telling me, uh, from the photos into now, so very cool. But often his name has been left out of the history books and credit has been given to George Carmax and an American miner. You don't see Skookum Jim's name in there a lot, there was just brief mentions. But once they come to Carcross, this, that's why this, this interpretive centre I think is important that we really tell the story of Skookum Jim here. The gold claim discovery made Skookum Jim a rich man. In 1904, he sold his claims for $65,000 and continued to live in Carcross until his death in 1919. Today, his trust fund continues to fund social and education programs for many Yukon First Nations. Shirley McLean, APTN National News, Carcross, Yukon.